हेलो ग्रेट थ्री स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर इंग्लिश लेसन एंड इन दिस लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू रीड पोइम द ग्रीन ग्रास ग्रोइंग ऑल राउंड यूनिट नंबर सेवनटीन फ्रॉम ऑक्सफोर्ड रीडिंग सर्कल थ्री सो वी स्टार्ट आर लेसन स्टूडेंट्स द पोइम द ग्रीन ग्रास ग्रोइंग ऑल राउंड इज एन अपरेशन folk song that was first noted in 1877 in nursery rhymes and country songs today it is a popular classic children's song and a good example of cumulative song so we read this song together there was a tree stood on the ground the prettiest tree you ever did see the tree in the wood and the wood in the ground and the green grass growing all around and the green grass growing all around and on this tree there was a limb the prettiest limb you ever did see the limb on the tree and the tree in the wood the tree in the wood and the wood in the ground and the green grass growing all around and the green grass growing all around and on this limb there was a bow the prettiest bow you ever did see the bow on the limb and the limb on the tree the limb on the tree and the tree in the wood the tree in the wood and the wood in the ground and the green grass growing all around and the green grass growing all around and on this bow there was a nest the prettiest nest you ever did see the nest on the bow and the bow on the limb the bow on the limb and the limb on the tree the limb on the tree and the tree in the wood the tree in the wood and the wood in the ground and the green grass growing all around and the green grass growing all around and in this nest there were some eggs the prettiest eggs you ever did see eggs in the nest and the nest on the bow the bow on the limb and the limb on the tree the limb on the tree and the tree in the wood the tree in the wood and the wood in the ground and the green grass growing all around and the green grass growing all around now come to the exercises a questions one which lines are repeated in each stanza answer and the green grass growing all around two what is added to each stanza a new item stanza 1 tree stanza 2 limb stanza 3 bow stanza 4 nest stanza 5 eggs three which phrase is used in every stanza to describe the new item that is introduced answer the prettiest you ever did see four read the poem again using your imagination and keeping in mind the pattern add an other stanza to the poem answer and in the egg there was a bird the prettiest bird you ever did see the bird in the egg and the egg on the bow the bow on the limb and the limb on the tree the limb on the tree and the tree in the wood the tree in the wood and the wood in the ground and the green grass growing all around and the green grass growing all around b words and meaning one which statements are not quite true according to the poem a on the bow there was a limb false b the nest was on the tree true c the eggs were in the nest true d the wood was on the tree false e the wood is not described as the prettiest true to which is the old one out in each of the following give a reason for your selection a arm because it is not a part of a tree but of a human body b van because it has four wheels and an engine which the others don't have c iron 
because it is not a color d cushion because it is not a covering e canal because it is meant only for boats to travel across not for cars or other vehicles you can also say a canal is a waterway the rest are on land f spear because it is a weapon and not a part of an animal 3 what is the difference find out about the following forest a big area with the lots of trees wood is similar to a forest but smaller than a forest jungle a thick forest in a hot part of the world grove a group of trees or a small wood orchard a place with many fruit trees thanks for listening for new videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you like my videos please share and like